This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. To view the NICs that are in our server core installation here, we can use PowerShell. So I'll go ahead and type in PowerShell. And we'll use the get dash net adapter commandlet. So I can see I've got Ethernet 2 here. It's up. That's connected. And Ethernet 4 is up. So now we want to label these so that we know which is which. And we could actually go to the back of the server, physically disconnect one of the Ethernet cables, and then run the get dash net adapter again and see which one went down and got disconnected. That way we know exactly which one it is on the back of the server and which port it's connected to on the switch. So once we know that, we can use the rename dash net adapter commandlet. I'm going to rename Ethernet 2 here, give it a new name of team one nick one dash ob1 that's just the naming convention I'm going to use for onboard NIC1 and it's plugged into switch port 23 and I'll go ahead and rename Ethernet 4 here the new name team1 NIC1 ob2 and it's plugged into switch port 24 now we can use the get dash net adapter commandlet just to confirm that the names have been changed and they've been changed so we've got our two NICs here and now we're going to make a team out of them so we can use the new dash net LBFO team. Let's load balancing and failover team. I'm going to call it team one, my team members. We're just going to separate it by a comma here. So I've got my team one, Nick one, OB one, SP 23. And that's this guy. And then my comma, and then in quotes, the other nickname here. And the team nickname, I'm going to give it again, is team one. Load balancing algorithm we're going to use is dynamic and teaming mode is switch independent. So we talked about those different modes when we configured the team when we are configuring our, our server with the full GUI. And are we sure we want to do this? Yes. Okay, the team was created. So we can see the details here. The status is down. It can take a second to come up. So we can use the get dash net LBFO team commandlet. And there's our team and it's up.